Big Jim Country Boy here. If you would, could you please pause the video for a second and subscribe? We really need your support. Thank you. Start with two cups of flour, pepper grinder, fifteen turns on the pepper grinder, salt, we call that tablespoon, three teaspoons, same thing, don't matter, baking powder, and call out a tablespoon, call out a tablespoon of parsley flakes, a tablespoon of chives if you have them, Onion powder, we're going to call out a teaspoon, I'm going to start with a half a cup of water first, and measure this out and see how it works, because you want it thick, if you have a nice good lager beer around, a nice heavy dark beer, you might want to use that instead of water. You 
Yeah, we ate up all that cup of water. We're going to need another one. Again, start small, half a cup. You only want it thin enough to mix it smooth. It needs a little more water. We go about a cup and three quarters into the water we are now. That might be it. One and three quarter cups. Okay, we got our bass we just took the skin off of. We got our batter we mixed up. Our fryer is just now getting hot. Cook our bass. Just like the pair of tongs for the batter, pair of tongs for the fryer to remove. Makes things easier, safer, and more sanitary. Drop it in the oil, give it a little shake. Use a clean pair of metal tongs again for the fryer. Plus, I like to use this spoon, like a nice strainer spoon, metal. Don't use plastic in a deep fryer. It will get soft or melt. Give them a quick turn. Um, I think it's only going to take two or three minutes, maybe four to cook these. They cook fast, so. That looks done, nice and brown and crispy. Put them on a plate with some paper towel. Let them drain. Looks done to me. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Looks good to me. Awesome. Big Jim Country Boy here. If you would, could you please pause the video for a second and subscribe? We really need your support. Thank you.